Yes, thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, Mr. Crenshaw, Ryan Rays. Yes, Your Honor. He's President, we're ready. Uh, we're entering a plea of truth. 13-17443 is called the State of Texas versus Ryan Camden Rays. That's you, sir? Yes, sir. Present with your attorney, Crenshaw, and the state's attorney. What we have here is a first amended motion to revoke unadjudicated probation. Wait, mama, that was filed three years ago. Why have we, uh, why is it taking so much time? I mean, right the heart of, of COVID, I know that. But. Primarily, it's been the defendant's health issues. Okay. He had a serious uh, health issue that prevented us for about a year from coming forward. Yeah, what is this about number one? That's a plea of true judge. I know, but what is there another case? He's in Gal Galveston County, yes, Your Honor. He was found guilty back on February 10th of 2020. And what was the punishment? They uh, assessed five years deferred probation. I have a copy of the oh, judgment. Oh, was a uh, plea. Like to look at. Yes, yes. Sir. Okay. And uh, the rest of the violations, Judge, I don't think the state is. Um, All right, we'll just go with that. On, How's that? Uh, just stay with that one. Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. And I would just add to the uh, for the attention of the court on the failure to pay. He has paid everything in full. I think it's almost nine thousand dollars that he's paid. Raise your right hand, sir. Do you solemnly swear or affirm any statement you make today during this hearing will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes. Lower your hand. In summary, this. First amended motion to revoke unadjudicated probation in this case filed on February 20th, 2020 states that on February 24th, 2014, you were placed on five years deferred or unadjudicated probation uh, for the state jail felony of theft. Is that true? Was there a loss on this? Restitution amount was $3,392. Where are we on that? He's paid it. Okay. Everything's paid. Come on. Is that true, sir? Yes, sir. I'm going to let him speak because he's taller than all of you. Yes. <laughs> that is very active. All right. And allegation number one here states that it is alleged you committed the offense of indecency with a child on or about February 23rd, 2018, in Galveston County, Texas. Is that true or untrue? Are you pleading true to that voluntarily and because it is true as it is alleged? You understand by pleading true, that is enough to grant this motion to revoke probation. Your probation can now be revoked. You can be found guilty and sentenced up to the full range of punishment. A state jail felony carries with it no less than 180 days, up to two years in the state jail. Knowing that, do you insist on pleading true today? Yes, I find you were pleading true voluntarily. You understand and appreciate the consequences of pleading true. Is there an agreement on this? None, Your Honor. None. Okay. We're pleading on agreed. Right. Yes, All right. Uh, what's the state say? I'll let you go first and last. Wait, wait. Based on. <laughs> All right. He's. This is. I've seen this before in um, uh, a very in, in nervous, high tense situations. People have medical conditions, and he is not deceased. He's not dying. He has fainted and is has a slight convulsion. The uh, medical people will be called immediately. Generally, this kind of reaction is uh, handled. Uh, quickly and they are revived quickly and uh, i'm sure this isn't the first event in a tense situation that this man has had because i've seen i know of people personally who have this condition and um, it it is just de dealt with with uh, medical people called quickly and ensuring that he uh, like the bailiffs are doing that he is not uh, swallowing his tongue or otherwise hurting himself and he is breathing. Those are uh, the necessities of life. We are in a short recess. 